Okay, let's get started. Uh, how are you feeling today? Fine, thank you. Good. How's your general health? Fine. Excellent. Okay, uh, we know you're an academic. Yes, we've established that. So we don't need to talk about your interesting work. No. Well, it's uh, the story of Vivian Baring, um, told sort of in present tense and so in some flashback. It's the story of her um, battle with uh, stage four ovarian cancer. Um, she, we flash back to some moments of her childhood and to her teaching days. Um, and we show a little bit about um, the relationship she had with her father who is deceased during this show and um, her students who she had maybe a less warm relationship with and uh, the relationship she forms within the hospital as well. She forms a fairly close relationship with um, one of the nurses, Susie, and maybe less so with her doctors, but um, yeah. Vivian, yes? there's something we need to talk about. What you need to think about now is your code status. What you want them to do if your heart stops beating? Oh, well, you could be full code, which means that if your heart stops beating, we would call code blue, and the code team would come in and resuscitate you and bring you to the intensive care unit until you stabilize again. There are nights when I wake up um, as an actress, of course, very worried about you know being honest and true and honoring the character of, of Vivian Baring and um, telling her story to the audience as well as I possibly can. And there are times when I'm out walking my dog and enjoying the sunshine and realizing how very, very lucky I am. Um, I did go to the Cross Cancer Clinic because I wanted to um, have that experience of being, of being there. And mm -hmm. when I was there, of course, I saw people waiting for loved ones. I saw people lying on gurneys. Um, I was very aware of the situation there and um, as much as I could be as an outsider. And I have uh, spent time talking to a very close friend of mine who is a breast cancer survivor and she was very generous in reliving her whole experience at the cross cancer and talking about what wonderful people they are and how they helped her and but what it was like. So. That is as close, I pray to God, that I will ever have to be.